Frankie Movie Club, it's me Jenny aka Classy Librarian and this week's movie was John Carpenter's The Things, um, made in 1982 and the things I like about this film, my quickie review, it does a really good job of what it's intending to do which be a creepy horror film um, with some nice moral kind of undertones going into it. Um, for me personally, I didn't really enjoy this film because I don't like being scared. I don't watch a lot of horror films. In fact, most of the horror films that I've watched have been ones on Sourcefed or DeFranco Movie Club, and all of them have been kind of parodies, um, which is much more up my street. Um, but in itself, this is a really good movie. movie. It's really, really well directed. Um, I like the kind of setting of this kind of scenario, where it's um, you can't really stay indoors because there's an entity um, and you can't go outdoors because it's a harsh environment with no escape. It's very isolating. Um, I like the communications issue. I think if you tried to do a film like this in the modern world, it wouldn't quite work because we're so connected that um, having communications be completely cut off would be a little bit unbelievable. And after a few, like, a few days of no communications, I think alarm bells would ring and people would start to come to the rescue. Um, so I really like the fact that it's set in the 80s so you can believe that there's no chance of communication, there's no way out. And I like that. It's, it's very, very isolating. And I like the moral message that comes with that, that they choose in the end not to be found or to try not to be found because if um, these guys let the thing out into the world then it would be more harm than letting themselves survive. So I really like that little moral kind of flick to the communications issue. Um, I've got to give immense props to all of the people who worked on the prosthetics, the animatronics, um, the makeup and the modelling in this film. Um, I, I've, the people who did the still kind of statues for the um, dog dog corpse and the human human corpse, I've got to give them immense props because they clearly did a lot of work to try and get the anatomy right and then kind of messed with it just enough to make it really, really creepy to look at. And I love how the creature moves. Um, the, the still ones are just creepy on their own and then when you get this creature moving and it's the legs and the tentacles, I don't know whether or not they use puppeteering or stock motion or animatronics, but the movement of that creature is genuinely heebie-jeebies, creepy of all kinds. Um, tentacles are creepy in all forms, but this film just took it to a whole new level. Um, I really, the, the scene with the um, blood and wire, um, when that, everything starts to happen in that scene, I, you know, had to turn away from the screen for a bit. It kind of scared me, and I was watching this in broad daylight. Um, so, it, you know, it did really, really well for what it was aimed at. Um, the acting throughout is pretty good. Um, you know, the characters are made with just enough personality that you can recognise who they are. Um, but with not so much of an empathetic note that, um, you know, you're thinking, oh, that one's died, rather than, oh no, I'm so sorry you're gone. What about your wife and kids? Um, so it's, you know, classic horror movie sort of situation. Um, so, you know, the acting overall, you know, you don't really root for any characters particularly hard. Um, but, you know, that's a horror movie for you. Um... I love the score for this film. Um, again, because it's 80s, it doesn't feel... A lot of modern horror films or creepy films feel very limited by the soundtrack because orchestra music feels a bit a bit cheesy in a way, but it, it kind of... They're usually into the very subtle, like, in the background sort of music or creepy little jingles or whatever, or, you know, just, you know, environmental sound effects. And this one, they had a full score and it had creepy high-pitched violins and everything, and it, it kind of works. I mean, again, it wouldn't work in a modern film, a modern horror, but in the 80s kind of setting, it really, really works as the background music, because you get this kind of... It's very, very filmic, it's very movie-like, um, and it works for this kind of scenario where you've got these big heroes trying to survive and this big sweeping score to go with it, which I really liked. Um... There's a lot of harsh lighting in this film, again, I think it's kind of in key with the 80s. Um, I think a lot of directors nowadays would feel a bit guilty about doing... They'll be more focused on making it look pretty rather than making it look creepy. 
and when you have this very harsh black and coloured contrast, I really like that because you don't entirely see what's going on, particularly during the dog transform sequence. You don't really know what's going on because it's so dark, and I like that. That was really well done. Um, so that's it really. Um, the end of my review. Really good 80s horror. If you're a horror movie fan, I would recommend it. If you're like me, um, and you find this sort of thing creepy, particularly, um, anatomy made creepy, or that sort of thing, don't watch it. Not for you. Um, there's a lot of moral undertones. It's very similar to a lot of, um, classic zombie or, um, vampire mythos, where it's being scared of the person next to you, um, because they're your friend, they look like your friend, but they're no longer, they're something else. Um, so that's a classic kind of, you know, psychological thing that a lot of people have is not knowing, like, knowing someone and then not knowing them. Um, and then there's a lot of themes about being in isolation and then just, you know, the pressures of being in a secluded group falling in on you. So it's, it's a very classic horror tropes that can appeal to a lot of people. Um, but I would only recommend watching this film if you're a fan of horror films. Um... And that's it, really. Um, see you guys late next week. Um, bye for now.